Yeah, this is lesson four. Been a while since I uh, did the last one, but uh, as I said, this one's gonna be on switches and how to use it. So to get started, let's uh, move the event we were working with before over here out of the way. Now, where it was, we're just gonna make another event. The, we're gonna. How about use uh, chest graphics since it's the uh, best example for what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so. Now that we got the chest here, what I'm showing you is how to use switches. So, the first thing about using switches is um, pretty simple. Create a new page for the event. Now, you see this new page has no graphic on it. So, say we're using a switch to open the chest. We have the graphic for the second page as, I don't know, let's use this open chest. Now, under conditions, you choose the switch. And I have no idea what this is, but it's here. We're gonna call this one chest open. Okay, so now this is saying if chest open is on, then this will be displayed. If um of course naturally it won't be on, so this page will be displayed. What you um, want to do is we're gonna um, incorporate what we learned before. We're gonna and just show text something like, do you want to open the chest? Of course, it's optional, just what I do. Show choices, yes, no, good enough. If no, nothing. When yes, that's the point at which you would control the switch, turn chest open, you can choose from all your switches, but we only have one. So turn chest open on or off. So if you turn it on, um, it should look like this, and then it'll be like this, and say whatever's in your chest, you get whatever amount of gold. Ah, typo, whatever, I don't care. Um, yeah, so then you just, um, whatever you want in the chest, just type, you know what to do. So, that's basically how you use a switch. Now, the thing about um, a normal switch is that it can be used between multiple events. So, let's see, say, say um, you have nothing here, right? You have an invisible event. You make a new event page with the graphic, I don't know, put a random fighter here. How's that? Turn the switch. If that's on, this page will be active, like I explained before, right? <laughs> okay, so. Um, we're going to test this now. Okay, so, as you can see, the event I put over, um, over here is not visible because the switch is not on. Now, it says, do you want to open the chest? When I choose yes, the switch will go on, and, um, the, what the, the second graphic <laughs> will appear, and the chest will open, and since the switch is also on, it'll also activate this event. So, let's hit yes. See, as the switch is... Um, on and both of the graphics changed because we turned on the new pages with the switch. So it said enter here, and now it says you got whatever amount of gold and it's typed wrong and all that stuff. Good stuff there. Oh, yeah. You'll get the idea here. Um, now, one quick thing I want to add. Um, let's just get rid of this event here, it's totally useless. Um, we'll get rid of this, and we'll just get rid of this text, it's useless. Get rid of this. Now, I'm just going to explain a bit about self-switches. Self-switches are the same thing as switches, except, um, just choose A for this one for now. Turn that on, and then on the second page, if self-switch is on. Now, the only difference between a switch and a self-switch is that a self-switch can only be used within one event, while switches can be used, uh, multiple events. So, here you go. Do you want to open the chest? Yeah, if the chest opens. There you go. I think you get the idea. So, um, in the next lesson, lesson five, I'll be explaining variables. Until then, um, good luck with this. Ciao.